Another option that we have with face blend is to create a blend using three defining face chains. So as a demonstration, I'm going to go into two defining face chains first. I'm going to select this face chain and this face chain. And what I want you to notice that if I wanted to create a perfectly round top or circular top for this, maybe I'm doing a forging, I would have to have a really good guess at what this radius is going to be in order for this top face to be tangent to this top face of that of that blend. I may be able to measure and guess and so on and get it, but this is based off of the concept that this radius is going to be constant. Now, if that wall thickness varies or the height thickness or the draft angle changes or whatever, then that radius value would have to modify as well, but this is a set radius value. I could get into odd um, surfacing techniques and such to get it to go, but it's not just a simple thing. In this case, I have an option here, it's called three defining face chains, that allows you to specify a middle face. This middle face is the face in between the two that's bridging the two faces you want to blend. This is the face that's going to be removed when you apply this blend. Let me select that and you'll notice that A, I don't have a radius value, B, this preview is showing me that this is going to touch, it's going to remain tangent across the top and uh, put in the blend. Select OK and there is my radius across the top. Now let me delete this. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to say delete face, I'm going to delete this face, and I'm going to delete this face. Select OK. And I'm going to create uh, basically an odd size shape. Pull this face out a little bit. Select OK. Put it in edge blend here. Put another edge blend over here. Select OK. Now you can see if I already use just a constant radius, I would not be able to get this thing to go with a constant. I'd have to use some sort of a variable and getting things to go would be really, really tricky. The old method would entail me putting in a curve across the top and tangency curves and creating a through curve mesh or something along those lines and then splitting the material out. But with this option in face blend, now I have the capability of simply selecting side face one, side face two, here's my mid plane face, select OK, and it automatically puts in the appropriate radius. And you can see that it remains tangent to that top face. So those three defining face chains are very, very powerful. And um, it isn't something that you use a whole heck of a lot on, but uh, in, in my case, I've used this on several forgings and castings um, because we do have variable thicknesses on some of the walls that, that uh, come off of the parting line because the height may vary or draft angles may vary from wall to wall.